Well, Kobe, that was some game to, must have been some game to play in. Yeah, no, it was up and down. It was eventful. Had goals, probably too many for our liking, but we got there in the end and got a great result. First half. Half hour looked difficult. They, they were very much on the front foot and two up. How was it playing against them in that early stage? No, they played some good stuff. We found it difficult to get close to them at times. I feel like we could have been higher as a team. But little things like that can be worked on at half time. We got inside, sorted a few things out, managed to get that goal just before half time, which was massive. And then we came out flying second half. I mean, they didn't really have, have much, did they, apart from that goal, which was a great strike in all fairness. But Apart from that, we, I feel like we deserved it. How much difference did that make, Rob Milsom's goal just before half-time, into what the team was thinking and what was said in the dressing room? Oh, it was huge. It gave the fans a lift. It gave us a lift. It gave us some belief because, like I said, they was playing some good stuff and we was finding it difficult at times. But, yeah, the goal helped us massively. We, we got in, uh, had some words with each other, sorted some things out and worked out all right in the end. And then they struck again, I think it was about 12 minutes from 12 minutes from the end to go 3-2 up. And what was the feeling then, that we'd, we'd been a bit, we were a bit hard done by? Or, uh, no, we're, we're, we're a fair team and we, we, we focus on little things and we could have probably dealt with the goal a little bit better, but it's, it's a great strike. Um, and we never drop our heads, get the ball back halfway line, we go again. And as you can see, we managed to get that third goal, massive, over the moon for Will, great ball from Kiz and yeah, then I, I managed to smash one in the roof of the net. Yes, we'll get to that now. 3-3, um, <laughs> three, three, game, in, game in stoppage time, free kick knocked into the area, bouncing around it, it lands at your right foot, what happens next? Do you know what, I was just, there were so many people in the way, I just thought I'm going to hit it as hard as I can and see what happens. And I saw it go in the roof of the net and I just went, I probably went a bit over the top. But <laughs> yeah, no, it was um, over the moon. My friends are here watching. So honestly, it was you know, a so great it's day. It's unfortunate. It's the first game this season that we haven't attacked the, our own supporters in the second half. And you can imagine what it would have been like up the other end if that had... I know, yeah, it would have been, been pandemonium. A bit, a, bit, a bit unfortunate it was in front of the Port Vale supporters. But I, I guess know, you can't I know. celebrate a goal like that. When uh, you do you know what? I didn't, I didn't mind it, to be fair, as you could tell. But nah. Well, the fans were amazing today. It was a great atmosphere. Even fair play to the away fans. They travelled in the numbers. Home fans were brilliant. And it was just a, it was a great game. It must have been great to watch. Yeah. It was fun to play in. I mean, 4,000 in the ground. It must, you say it must, have been, it must have been a great game to play in. And then the atmosphere as well. Yeah, no, it was amazing. We thank all of everyone who came out at the end. I was taking some photos with, with some of the boys. Just thanking them for coming. And we need to, we need to keep the support high still because it's working and from your personal point of view it's been you know, it's a bit tricky for you with Ben and Louis so well you sort of had to had to wait your time a little bit but every time you get in the side you you make a, a claim you know and, and make the most of it yeah no uh, I've been very patient um, today I knew I had to come in and give my 100% which I always do um, but yeah they, them two have done well like nothing against them obviously I want to play as well and Everyone okay. wants to be on the pitch and hopefully I can keep my place and, and keep pushing forward. And you're one of those players, that's when, you, when you've come into the side, it's important to make a make a case that when when they're fit again, it's, it makes you difficult to get left out. Yeah, no, 100%. That's what everyone's trying to do. Obviously, me personally, I had a bit of a tricky time last year with injury and things like that. I feel like I started the season well, but I'm not one to, to moan. I just get on with it, try my best and try and push them as much as I can and hopefully hopefully keep starting games. I've done this on the top, off the top of my head, but three starts this season and two goals? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, no. It was it's weird because last season I didn't really score. I didn't play that much, but I just couldn't really, I couldn't even get a shot off. Like It was just weird. Haringey, everything fell to me. I scored goals, three kicks, but hopefully this season tables have turned. So, fingers Brilliant. crossed. Great to see it going, Cody. Yeah. Delighted for you. Delighted for the team. Well done. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.